What's up guys, my name is Johan Lund and today I'm checking out the latest update from STL Tone's Tone Hub Amp series, the PV Vector. The amp is based on a PV Invective 120, a 120 watt modern high gain monster that has three channels and a built in boost which is really effective and the boost is of course available as one of the presets of the plugin. Together with the tracing technology that STL Tones has, this one comes really close to original and you can expect some really nice high gain tones from this one. So let's try out some presets and see what tones we can get out of it. So the signal chain for this demo is my Ibanez M80M with Lundgren pickups straight into my Sapphire Pro 14 sound card. So this is how it looks when you load it up and as you can see you have the three channels on the left side here and uh, different types of IRs on each channel. You have first a Mesa 4x12 with two 57s and uh, a Bogner 4x12 with a 57 and a 421 and an orange with an 57 and a 122. So you get a bit different uh, tonal variations and mic options uh, with the different um, channels. All channels uh, are featured with either uh, no pedal in front or a bunch of different overdrives in front. I'll go through them uh, and uh, check out the difference between them all. And also you have uh, clean channel options on each channel. Yeah, so let's just go through some of the presets here and see what tones we can get out of it. Starting off with the first channel uh, with no pedal and then flicks through some other presets and uh, compare them all together. So let's hear the first one here. <laughs> Yeah, so right off the bat, uh, really nice high gain thick tone here. Uh, so let's just freak through the rest of the presets and work our way down. Uh, so starting off with uh, the next one that has a boost engage. It sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, so you can really hear there's a lot more low-end control uh, when you uh, have a preset that has a boost in front of it, which you can expect uh, since that's the way the boost is supposed to work. Uh, so let's move over to the precision drive and compare that one. And check out the no pedal preset. Uh, 
and the precision drive again. Yeah, there's a huge difference between uh, no pedal and uh, boost uh, preset, of course, uh, in the low end part. Uh, so let's check out the Maxon 808. <laughs> Even more high gain, uh, more bite to the tone, basically, uh, to my ears anyway. Uh, so let's check out uh, some mid gain tones. No pedal first. Yeah, as you can expect, a lot less gain, uh, a bit broken up tone which can be really nice to have uh, maybe some uh, lighter cleans maybe uh, with a bit broken up uh, distortion to it. Let's check it out with uh, overdrive in front. A bit more gain to the tone, not that much, but it's slight difference. I'll shake it out with the Max Sun uh, cool sound to it. Uh, let's check out some clean tones. The clean tones doesn't have a pedal to it. Uh, of course you can engage it if you'd like, uh, but it's clean channel so no pedal needed. <laughs> Here, the second one. Yeah, nice clean tones to that. Uh, let's move over to the second channel uh, with another uh, IR to that and a different mic combination. So, this is how it sounds without the pedal. And if we engage the invective drive. Yeah, more low and control. Let's check it out with the Maxon 808 overdrive. Back to the invective. A bit more like a, a meat to the Maxon um, preset to my ears. And let's check out some mid gain and go straight with a pedal in front. Some gain, maybe. Let's 
check out the clean uh, preset on uh, channel 2, first one here. Sounds really nice. Uh, and let's check out the third channel with no pedal engaged, the high gain mode. And with the invective drive. And the Maxon, 808. That sounds really good, as you can tell by my facial expression, I guess. <laughs> uh, so let's check out some mid-gain with the precision drive on channel 3. Some slight oversaturation there. Let's crank some gain and see how that sounds. Sounds really good. And let's check out also the clean channel on channel 3. A little clean uh, mode on channel 3. Yeah. Sounds really nice, and let's uh, compare the channel that has the Maxon 808 overdrive, all those three channels to together, first the first one, and then the second and third. So let's check those out. <laughs> Second one. And the third one with the orange cap. Sounds really good. Yeah, so let's check out the channel with the Invective drive in front. Uh, first off the third channel, then the second one and the first one. So third one sounds like this. <laughs> Second one. And 
the first one. And they sound really good, all three of them. A uh, bit tonal difference, of course, since they have uh, different types of mics and different IRs, but yep, all of them sound kick ass. Yeah, so let's check out some lead tones, and I'm gonna stick with the Boss SDOD here uh, on all three channels. Uh, first, the first one, then the second one, and the third one. I'm gonna engage some effects here as well, some delay and reverb, so it sounds a bit nicer. Uh, so, first, channel with the Boss SD-OD sounds like this. Yeah, cool. And the high gain on the second channels. Here we go. And the third channel here, same OD with the same reverb. Yep. So there you go, a lot of different tonal variations you can get out of this one. Uh, all the way from pristine cleans, broken up cleans, all the way to brutal metal, high gain tones. And it sounds awesome. All of the presets are really easy to dial in. And you got a huge variation of stomp boxes and FX to choose from. So you're in for a treat. So try it out. I hope you like my demo. You can find all information on the latest update for the Tone Hub on stltones.com. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer. And if you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video. And until the next one, see you later.